He says, I will come to you. I will come to you. I will come to you. Christmas, he came to 2,000-year-old story about a baby, a cradle in a manger. Shepherds come, the magi come. But he came for you personally. He came for you. He came for your benefit. The Father sent Jesus for your benefit. And he welcomes you personally. He came for you. I will come to you so you will be forever aware of my presence and the love of the Father. This is what it means to be a temple of the Holy Spirit. Paul says you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. God is not interested in buildings. He's interested in you. He comes to you to be in you, to fill your very being. He always wanted a temple. Adam and Eve were created as temples. Do you know the word rib? Hebrew word salor? In Genesis 2, translated twice as ribs of Adam, where the rib is taken to fashion Eve from Adam's rib. The other 30 times it's used, except in the book of Job once, the other 29 times it's used, it's used for the construction of the wall or the frame of the Ark of the Covenant and the construction of the outer walls of the temple. God was building a temple right at the beginning. And from a temple, he built another temple. And his command, I believe, was that we would build temples to f facilitate the Holy Spirit filling people's lives. He was building a temple. That's all he's ever wanted, a people that he could inhabit. Not visit, but inhabit and remain with. 